Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiserreich, which is updated to the No Step Back uh, DLC patch. So, we have a lot of supply, we probably will lose a lot of supply, as you can see on screen here, we got all the supply hubs, and we're not connected in West Virginia, but anyways, it is March 13th, 1937, and we've rebelled from the tyrannical, uh, who is it? Douglas MacArthur, of course, tyrannical, 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 and we're going to begin with the second Continental Army. The revolution has begun. Zeal and enthusiasm are pouring forth as people are lining up to support our brave volunteers. Regular Chicagoans even say that that will take Washington in a week, and then the reactionaries will surely collapse. People are ready to get rid of the capitalist government. Smedley Butler. That's not bad. A gun in hand. That's not bad, too. I like that. Uniforms and grenades. I like that as well. Ooh. You get a lot of infantry equipment or artillery. Ooh. Division organization plus 5%. Let's go with the uniforms and grenades. Well... Oh, it's over right now. Our forces still so far lack a standard uniform by adapting a standard set of combat fatigues as well as producing a set, set patterns of mortars, grenades, and machine guns. We can keep our boys ready for anything, which will be great. So now we can raise divisions here. Actually, uh, 15 militia divisions. Now, I haven't deleted the militia divisions. You don't want to delete things here just because I've done that in the past and it's really screwed me up in the past. So, 15 in Illinois. That's a lot. 13 in Ohio. Um, 8. I don't want to lose Pennsylvania, so we'll probably do... Uh, Probably Wisconsin and Michigan last, but fifth. Oh, also what? I guess these are the divisions that the AI decided to recruit. Because when you tab over and become one of these nations, nations, um, this is what happens. So, oh, or maybe not. That's actually really. That's a really good division. Holy cow! And we have Brown and Lincoln divisions. Not bad. They're kind of motorized. They'll take you out. And we'll make you very speedy. Um, all Illinois division. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, this will be the kind of speedier divisions. Um, that's fine, whatever. And for you guys, we'll be using tanks eventually. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, anything there? Don't really care. Cool. Commandeer. Civilian trains, you know what? Honestly, we're going to need them. So, get us with 15 trains if you can. Rides to New England and New York. In recent days, syndicalist militias have been struggling and failing to take control in the northeastern states from New York and New Jersey all the way up to the coast of Maine so far. Governors in the region have clamped down hard on the violence, though the result has been a series of violent riots in Boston and Buffalo. Not to mention a wave of uprisings still ongoing within New York City itself. Citizens are on edge, and governors have denied the federal government permission to raise local militias in the area, fearful of increasing tensions further. A few New England governors are reported to be quietly asking the Canadian government to intervene should the worst come to worst. Interesting. This is in New York City. It seems. Foreign agitators are already active in America's French and British provocateurs and agents of inside of New York City's poor boroughs revolution. Many businessmen that could not escape have been lynched, but the mob violence has been quieted by the rival of trained organizers, both civilian and military, from Britain and France. The National Guard surrounding the city in a loose siege stretching from Newark to Yonkers, preventing socialist militia from entering or leaving the city, but not yet attempting to assault them in Manhattan. Keep the port open. Also, since we're here, I'm just going to divide you guys up in these ways. Uh, just like that. Boom. So I don't have to deal with this later. Boom, 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 boom. Ah, uh, who are we going to go through here? Adaptable? I love adaptable commanders. I love them. Commando? Yes, please. And you guys will get Red Guard Commander. Oh, wow. Milton Wolf is really good. At least he'll learn a lot. Cool. So, with that in mind, now let's redo this because you guys are going to do that. I have a solid front line. The American Union State has formed already, which is whatever because we don't really care. And actually, how many more days do we have left for a couple weeks? General MacArthur sworn as president. MacArthur's uh, temporary occupation of the White House has not led to a common of tensions, but a fiery shockwave of resistance all across the nation. With the situation worse than in, in D.C. could have predicted, a new presidential succession law, passed quickly by a joint session of Rump Congress, shorn of its SBA and AFP members, have decreed that, in the case of presidential incapacitation or absence, the Vice President and the Cabinet have the authority to transfer the President's authority as Commander-in-Chief to another member of the military government. In the case of the entire Cabinet's incapacitation, Responsibilities of the executive shall fall on the chief of staff of the United States Army. President MacArthur has been even more hurriedly sworn in in the midst of his preparations for the incoming civil war, as addressed the nation, reminding all traitors that they still have time to lay down their arms. A bare face assault on the Constitution. Illinois General Assembly invites the IWW. The state legislature of Illinois have invited the IWW to discuss the current crisis and the looming deadline issued by the federal government. Jack Reed accepted this offer and held an informal meeting with several trade union leaders prior. Reed made it clear that the situation was dire and the SBA would need to unite behind the IWW in order to survive the uncommon conflict. A silent agreement meant that the traditional SBA leadership would be reorganized along the industrial unionist lines, with each union representative allowed a single vote. The SBA immediately and unanimously pledged their support for social revolution through direct action, not diplomacy. So says all. And also, I deleted all the Air Force and Navy before this war even before this war is going to kick off. So just because I did not want to deal with anything here, yeah, we literally have nothing, and they should have nothing as well. So we've got Philadelphia. Anybody wonder about the decision of the Navy? Please go right ahead. And Western governance affect the SBA. If you wonder about that, please go right ahead. Still traders, traders all. 
And do we actually get... Oh, we did get ships. Look at that. Why do we have so many capital ships? Here, just combine them all into one big old group. Seems kind of cool. I deleted them all, though. So that doesn't make any sense. Um, capital ship armor. Enable speed and damage. Green efficiency. You're pretty good, so... Take you. And got some upgrades that we'll throw on there eventually. And there you go. Do that. And see what... Yes. You might be able to train fast enough, maybe... Maybe not, we'll see. So, uh, reorganize the railway systems. No, we're good for now. We're going to keep an eye on this for the militia. Uh, we captured Minnesota. A federal force leave Minnesota. Floyd Olson's old friend, Governor Peterson, realized that his state would be torn apart unless he surrendered to Jack Reed's Chicago regime. While there's some protests, the fact that the state has been so close to voting to Reed in the 36th election helped sway the people of Minnesota to follow the governor to the arms of the socialists. It was inevitable. New Mexico falls to Huey Long's government. I don't think I've ever heard that one before, but if you want to read this one, please go ahead. That's actually really cool. I haven't been in New Mexico, actually. I can finally say that. Iowa surrenders. Striking workers in Des Moines and Cedar Rapids. Today, we're joined by newly revived militia, a region now openly declared CSA. Police officers attempting to defend the Iowa state capitol were massacred by the mob as the seat of the legislature were invaded by the workers. Governor Crashall, probably seeing which way the tide was flowing, has decided to surrender his state to the Chicago government as a new state of the CSA. The revolution must be brought by force sometimes. Cool. Honestly, um, Continental Infantry. I want to... I want to make the Continental Infantry up here, but we need lines, and we can convert divisions while they're in the field anyway, so. We'll see. Occupation Northern Rocky Mountains. Soldiers and militiamen of the Western Provisional Government finally made it over the Rocky Mountains to some small position. If you want to read this, please go right ahead. Let them have the rocks if they want them. This really sucks for the federal government. Denver Conference resolves for long. If you want to read that, please go right ahead. Poor decision. And we declare the March Revolution. In the Illinois General Assembly, we declared or delivered a fiery broadcast describing the wealth of America and syndicates. Declaring that direct action against capitalist society was a vital necessity for all Americans, and that the federal government's deadline must not only be ignored, it must be defied. Telegrams from the Third International poured in to support Reed's SPA, exciting the attendance. A vote was called to begin reforming the American capitalist economy into an anarcho syndicalist economy. This referendum, signed by the attendants, declared the Federal Reserve null and void. The IWW was appointed the Labor Chamber for the new syndicalist government, and the selling of company shares declared illegal. The representatives, satisfied with the success, have returned to Chicago to organize the armed revolution. E pluribus unum. CSA partisans in Buffalo. Nice. Although President MacArthur's uh, troops have compelled the obedience and loyalty of Governor Lehman of New York and Albany, it seems that even more of the state than New York City slipped from its control. Remnant strikers from the mostly obsolete New York's New Year's strike in Rochester and Buffalo have joined, been joined by partisans of Reed's government in Chicago. We have united overthrow the city government and invited CSA soldiers to protest the state. Sensing an opportunity to get closer to New York City, General Butler has ordered an advance to the Susquehanna source in Niagara Falls. Super, super, super. Let's see. Eight... Five. Oh, that's we do. Not be, uh, it's about New York City. Fifteen. That's pretty flipping strong. That's a lot. But they might all die there, so you might want to wait for five. Five. Thirteen is pretty darn strong. Let's go with uh, Ohio next. Nice. Uh, because of that, I want to separate all these guys and throw them all, you know, on the line. But uh, for now, we'll throw you over here. I just don't know how the boards are going to react first. So we'll see what happens. And we need guys over here too. So we'll see. Federal's victory in Tennessee. We're going to that. go ahead. Battle of Eads Bridge. If you want to about that, please go ahead as well. Battle of Bismarck. We'll be back. Oh, wow. The SBA got it. Or PS... Not SBA. PSA. How did... That makes no sense. The Pacific States? Well, I guess it makes some sense. because they claim to be the true reformers of America, you know. But, Jesus Christ. Longest Rafael... Oh, Longest Force to Repel. Very good. Mm, honestly, we're going to kill each other anyways. So, you know what? Screw it. Let's go here. There you go. So we'll just make a fallback line, like a massive fallback line. And I'm going to assume Canada's going to intervene anyway, so we're going to make another fallback line eventually, too. It's going to get really rough and bloody here. Yeah. By God, you better best be defending West Virginia. And I don't even want to think about it, so just do that. We're going to need a lot of guns. We're going to need a lot of guns, man. Federal's infiltration being off in South Carolina. Very good. General Strike moves on the Federal Reserve. The General Strike, whose goal has been to protect workers from federal tyranny, now moves to seize the means of production. The Red Guards have ordered an evacuation of Lower Manhattan in order to both seize the gold in the Federal Reserve Bank as well as dismantle Wall Street. In this delegation were reporters who were allowed to watch congressmen carry safe boxes away for safekeeping in Chicago. These items were put under the trust of the I.W. Squared, whom have elected Norman Thomas as their undersecretary. Several SBA politicians were arrested in Washington, D.C. for meeting outside the Eccles Building and ordering their Federal Reserve Chairman, Eugene Black, to hear the petitions. Release those men now. 
Oh, Senate Republic, that's cool. Second International Congress of British Congress have confirmed their readiness to host Second International Congress in London. It's time for the combined syndicates of America to uh, confirm its participation. Now, minus 50%, holy crap. Ah, uh, New England submits to MacArthur, that sucks. We have received news that the New England governors have asked Canada for protection, but the government in Ottawa refused. While Canadian protection, the governors asked General MacArthur for protection from the syndicalist forces. While six men be entirely behind MacArthur, is it resolved? They are at least re resolved to see him as their best chance of supporting the war. Is this not good enough? Oh crap. Deadline looms. It's only a matter of time. Longs uprising suppressing New Jersey. Alright. We're probably lose, going to lose New York, so. Battle of Philadelphia. If you're wondering about this, please go right ahead. Oh, and here we go. So now we're actually at war. We're going to need way more guns. Holy crap. 15. Go with 5. Go with... Why do we have two things motorized? 3 there. Go 2. And do we have any extra... Throw them on here. It's fine. Do that too. Oh, so you're actually there too. That's not bad. If we could link up, that would be great. So we're fighting everyone here? Yeah, that's good. So now we should just be able to do this. There you go. That's better. The 1937 Workers' Olympiad. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Pretty good, pretty good. Breakout. I'd rather lose New York City and actually just be able to connect all these things here. Uh, stop trainings too. Cool. And so I can come over here. We have, like, no fuel. British equipment arrives. Great! Friends of the Union of Britain have set us a shipment of infantry equipment to aid us in our struggle. Can I actually push in at all? Take as much territory as possible, maybe? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I'd rather lose New York City, unfortunately, and get New Jersey back. We just gotta connect everything here, that's all. Mm, yeah, don't worry about that. Cool. Ohio First Guard? Nice. Look at that. Not bad. Pretty good so far. We're getting taken a lot of Kentucky. All right, so non-consolidated states. That's true. We do need to consolidate them. Eight there, fifteen. Well, we're gonna wait for that one. Eleven is not bad. Yeah, we just want, we just need numbers. Six, five, six, nine. It's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna go eleven in Philadelphia. Just don't lose Philly, baby. Ireland's joined the Reichs back. That's nice for you. And uh, we got Benjamin Katie. I've used before. Uh, actually, I'm sitting here anyways. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I, I lied. You know what? No more Benjamin. There you go. Chilean volunteers have arrived. Our comrades in Chile have sent volunteers to assist us in our endeavor to bring revolution to the U.S. Good. Come up here. See what you can do. Because we want to push hard and fast up here. Field Marshal, who? Smelly Butler? No. Not enough command power. God dang it. Smelly Butler? Never have enough command power. Show restoration? Alright. Please do not give him sickles on. Please, 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 please. Lincoln's nice. Nebraska's really nice, too. Did we actually sink convoys? No, oh, we lost convoy. Oh, or subs. Oh. Sucks, bro. All you have to do is just go around, guys. Same with you all. Anything else here? Um, is this... Suppress the resistance. Yeah, that'd be good. I love suppression. Stuff like Mal. Good, good, good. With you guys, do that if we can. Order store New Jersey. Over the past couple weeks, syndicate government force have been busy in New Jersey, arresting those we feel proof a hindrance or control and helping our local supporters spread the good word amongst the people. We want to reassure them that as American citizens, they have no reason to fear our presence. Our, our efforts have slowly begun to bear fruit, even in the midst of all this chaos. Nice. Actually, you know what? Don't even make these divisions. We don't have the resources for them, and we'll, like I said, we'll just convert these guys later on. Cool. Not bad. Honestly, if anything, why don't you go up there and then go back? Hey, thanks for showing up, guys. Well, we appreciate it a whole bunch. Can we actually take North Carolina? Then again, I don't want to fight the AUS that much. Like, that's, like, not great. Look at this. Uh, push on the federal front, honestly. Yeah, I want to get rid of the Fed boys fast. No, who likes Fed boys? Like, seriously. Director 10, redistribution of uh, material assets. Now that the revolution has begun, we must say what must be done with the bourgeoisie. The IW times two. Proclaim that we must confiscate all their wealth and redistribute it to the people immediately. The up and coming vanguard has called for the immediate arrest and execution as well, citing the fate of Vladimir Lenin as an example of a revolution defeated by leniency. SBA members prolong it to the depreciated AFL. Along with the several loyal progressives sought life over death, asking the Central Committee to only expropriate what is necessary for war and keep their materialist constituents happy. Wealth and lives are ours. Uh, we get more totalism, syndicalism. Uh, who's here? Totalist, Earl Browder, Jack Reed, 
Radical socials. Maybe we'll go with radical socials. That'd be kind of different. We may need these moderates in the future. Maybe we'll go radical socialists. I don't know. No. We may need moderates. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Go, boys, go. we got to get New England. Inauguration of the Second International Congress. With all the delegates in London, the Second Congress of the Internationals began with a speech by Comrade Eric Blair, a so-called shield and sword speech. He underlined the need for the International to double his efforts towards forging the Damocles, a weapon capable of destroying the reactions across the world once for all. Bravo, Comrade Blair. Bravo. Okay, Kansas City, Jefferson City as well. Second International. Interesting. Very nice. Come on, boys. You got this. I know you could really use uh, some more command power and stuff, but whatever. All right, so you guys, actually, for the most part, I want you guys to hold. Um, I want you guys to finish these guys off first. So you guys hold here as much as I would love to take that city. It's fine if you don't. All right, Philadelphia Red Guard, we're going to really pump you guys up here so we can take out New England. We want New England badly. All right, so what other states do we have? New Jersey, 8 is not bad. 15, you know what? We, uh, they still might be able to take it, so that's not good to do. 15, 6, 5, 3, obviously not very much. Um, five, six, five. Yeah, we definitely got to hold out against the PSA now. Nine. Let's go. With, eh. Five. Eh. Eight is pretty good. Eight is pretty darn awesome. Let's go with eight. Best be safe. Animal Canal Crisis. Oh, good job, guys. Keep going. How much fuel do we have? We got a good amount of fuel. Let's go in. Really, just do the best you can against them. All right, so you guys are doing all right. You guys are doing okay, too. Oh, that goes hungry. Hungry's having a time. Don't worry about taking them out. I, I, I really don't care about fighting the American Union State. They're not my concern right now. Who is my concern is the federal government. British resistance rods. Our British comrades have agreed to send additional help. Transport from Mexico under constant air threat. A crack squadron of British fighter pilots have recently arrived in Chicago and waited orders. Nice. Thanks for showing up, guys. We appreciate you. Send them over here, too. Do we have extra planes? No casts. Yeah. I we'll love the casts. We'll take and use whoever we can get right now. And you know what? Making some bombers. Even some naval bombers. I'm glad I set this up quite nicely. Um, Head on over here, too. And then... Actually, it's over here. Anyways. New Jersey's ours, which is great. We're going to be really using up quite a bit more fuel, which is, you know, whatever. It'll probably help import some more. Actually, what are we building here? Oh, oh yeah, I built that up. Yeah, we're building a lot of military factories. Don't lose new, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oh man, if we could take New England this fast, oh, it'd be so good. Oh, look at this, yes. Because we gotta get ready for them, uh, Fed boys. Guys, would you like to help out? Maybe. French assistance arrives as well. Our French comrades agreed to send us additional help. Transported from Mexico under constant air threat, of course. Uh, can't do that. Now. A trove of industrial equipment and advanced machine tools, as well as industrial advisors around Chicago. Thanks, comrades. Thank you very much. If we lose the Dakotas, I don't care. Can we take DC? Woo! We got DC! Holy crap! Is that the end of the feds? Oh, we need Boston. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It'd be so good if we can get that done early on. Oh, that looks so nice. Subs and combos go bye bye. Not bad, not bad. Just don't lose it. Oh, they actually, they're naval invading. Oh, look at that. We got 13 convoys down there. Oh boy, oh boy. No upgrades yet. Not bad. Two convoys sunk. Oh my god. Can we get to Boston? But as the revolution near success, People demand that we deal with the corrupt capitalist politicians in the office before the revolution who now run ourselves. Some believe that by having these politicians work hard labor for a few years, they will empathize with the worker and be converted to a cause. Others believe that no amount of education can reform them. It must remain behind bars for the rest of their lives. A small but vocal minority insists that they must be executed for the crimes, like the Romanovs or the Bourbon dynasties of old, deemed, redeemed by the sweat on their brows and the ache of their backs. They shall watch as the world leaves them behind and make them irrelevant. It's now now our turn. We shall not make excuses for terror. Nice. Oh, yes, please. That's the case. Honestly, I think we have enough divisions up here already. So that's actually really good. Um, if anything, I want you to actually go this way. Go to Hartford. See if you can go straight for Boston. I kind of doubt we can, but, you know, whatever. Um, up next... Ooh. Ooh, we need to suppress resistance. Six is not bad. Five is not much. Actually, Virginia is how much? No, oh, well, I can't do this up yet. Seven. Five. Eight. Go eight. It's rough here anyways. Ah, oh, they caught us. There's some Dutch elections. 
Oh, you're not doing anything, guys. Order store in Kentucky. You want to about that? Please go ahead. Yay! Go and take Augusta. All right? No, no, it's Bangor. Not Augusta. You guys go down here, too. And you're going to help just, like, take all the tiles. Militia is not really worth very much, in my opinion. That's all right. You want to hold? Oh, they're doing force defense. Oh, God. They're really trying not to die here. Just don't make sure, just make sure you don't lose Washington. If we could close this off, that'd be great. Go in here too. Just hold and defend for the most part. Oh, as much as I want to take this tile. We actually still might be able to take this one. Ooh. Honestly, if you can't take it, I'm not, I don't want to waste supplies and equipment. Because our lines are looking pretty darn thin as we're focusing very much on New England. The New England pocket. Can you go straight? Go, go to Concord. Go to Concord. Come on, 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 come on. Oh, come on. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Ah. <laughs> take it. Oh my god, take it, please. <laughs> uh, Directive 764, a Revolutionary Education Act. For those who are well educated, either formally or. Through the bitter experience, revolutionary thought crimes, oh, oh, not crimes, but comes as easy as breathing. However, many of our comrades, whether in the steel belt or elsewhere in America, have been lied to their entire lives by the capitalists and do not understand how the revolution frees them. Many do not give their heart and soul to the revolution, and some even attempt to sabotage our efforts, unaware uh, that we are the only force that truly cares for them. We must, this must be remedied, and our comrades must be deprogrammed. Should we focus on reaching those in our territory, keeping our morale up, or should we spread our message throughout our enemy territory and set the world to fight as liberators? Uh, of the socialist family? Honestly, we don't have a lot of stability. Give me that political power. World propaganda would be nice, but we don't really need it. All right, who's next? Seven, two in Vermont. Yeah, there's not much in Vermont. Um, at this point, we can do New York City. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Anything here yet? We can't do anything of that, which sucks. Overall, not bad. Like, this is going a lot better than I thought it would be so far. Oh, please tell me they're done. Oh, we need Richmond. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. Oh! Unnecessary step of the road. Oh, come on. Oh, we got him this early on. Oh, holy crap. Oh, that's so good. You know what? I'm going to take everything. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to take everything. I don't care about it. Don't care about it. Also, we're using the State Chester Tool Mod. We're using Player of the Peace Conferences. And I think that's pretty much it. So, Benjamin. No, you're not Benjamin. This guy's really good, though. Um, you know what? As much as I want to use him. Here. As much as I like Milton Wolf. Uh, Mr. Mustache Man. There you go. And share the wealth. Uh... I we shouldn't say sure the wall. So we're going to make sure that the entire line is good enough. Um, and we needed that political power to help suppress resistance. Three, four. We need a little more for Kentucky, too. Not bad. Cancel. What? Cancel. Lun lease. Oh, I guess we have a lot of equipment already. Um, that's a case. I'm just going to convert two. These Mountaineer Divisions are really bad, actually. Continental Infantry. Yeah, that's the one we really like. And it's 18 Cowboy. Actually, we, don't, we haven't had too many supply issues just yet, but... Um, I really don't want to fight the PSA. I really hate the PSA. I'm not too concerned about the American Union State. I'm more concerned about Canada intervening, so... We'll do that. Who's going to be Field Marshal here, though? Mm, you can be Field Marshal. Probably Robert, Sharon, Allen. So, second constitutional convention, we gotta win this war first. What else do we have here? Pol political officers? Organization would be really good. If we get any more guns, well, we already have enough guns. Millie Butler. Expert delegator? That's pretty good, too. Look good political officers. Our militiamen are enthusiastic, but they lack any education in the finer points of socialist theory. In order to keep morale up and ensure that more uncertain occupied areas see the benefits of the revolution, we need tend to create so called political officers who will be responsible for helping us win the hearts and minds. Internal conflicts. At the ons offset of the revolution, John Reed. Place the IWW as a model and future successor to Congress, the AFL, which had seen a decline in membership before 35, was revitalized by Reed's endorsement, uh, <clears throat> has begun to exercise their ideological autonomy. They have been chosen, or have chosen, to occupy the entire left side of the IWW and begin to pull in allies. Their debates with the IWW can sometimes leak out into street brawls and, in two cases, friendly fire. The vanguards, owing their only their allegiance to the revolution, have tried to foster cooperation. Now, Reed must decide whether it is more dangerous to continue support for the IWW when compromise is in sight. Cynicalism? Totalism? Side with the AFL. Directive 1231 establishes the CIA. It's an unfortunate fact that there are spies and saboteurs within our territory working to prevent our glorious liberation of the proletarian masses. Of the many proposals submitted to the Central Committee, one stands out. Earl Browder's proposals to create a committee to enforce revolutionary order and stop counter-revolutionary sabotage. But, 
others within the Central Committee, including Chairman Reed, one of this is a necessary step, and if we should be betraying our deals. Regardless, the votes were taken, what was decided? That's not necessary for now. Female soldiers. Women. As the revolutionary struggle continues, a number of women have joined the armed struggle in accordance with the socialist ideals of gender equality. While not all are accepted by their male comrades, it has not deterred many from joining and fighting and dying for the revolution. Many have been distributed to recruiters on how to effectively organize women's attachments, of which the militias can teach the militia a thing or two, or a mil military thing or two. Rebel girl, you're the queen of my world. And then, a syndicalist uprising in the West. Fight on the West Coast, or along the West Coast, been between syndicalist sympathizers and security forces have been severe in recent weeks, but dropped off within the last weeks, leading to hopes that the unions out West had finally given hope of success. These hopes were dashed as a new uprising was revealed, with a number of militias organized by powerful Teamster and Longshoremen unions in Washington and Oregon State, and armed through underground efforts. This opens up a new front of the Civil War, should the rebels find a way to break out of the mountains. Hurrah! Oh. Or maybe not hurrah. Okay, maybe not hurrah. I was hoping there'd be a hurrah, but bourgeoisie flee to Canada. The bourgeois have decided that they'll flee to the uh, CSA. Thousands have sought refuge within enemy territory, especially within the illegitimate Canadian government. The thieving scum have taken whatever of their stolen wealth they could carry with them as they've escaped the revolution. The revolution will come for them in time. Uniforms of grenades, thank God. And like I said, political officers. And then we're going to go out and do a gun in every hand. Let's get more organization. What more can a man need than a gun? Why, a gu better gun, of course. Mass infantry dominates our inf army, and so we should ensure that they're as well armed as possible. Yeah, okay, maybe that thing didn't fire. PSA is really trying to strike us hard here, which is fine with me, because I'm actually probably going to end up focusing on the American Union State. I really don't want to focus on the American Union State that much, but I think we're going to end up focusing on them quite a bit, so. Go on in, boys. See what you want to do. So far, this has been really easy. Sorry, August 37, we took out New England and destroyed the federal government. Like, bad boys, man. Not even once. Border store Connecticut. Excellent news, my friends. Excellent, excellent, excellent news. I just hope that the, the Canadians just don't interfere, interfere too quickly. What are the losses first? Let's, let's take a look. 13,000, not bad. We got off 40,000. That's pretty nice. Oh, I don't see those cowboys. Oh, it's so good. So good, guys. So good. Actually, do our sub daddies. Sub daddy, do you have an upgrade yet? No. But he's learning. He's definitely learning. Which I love, 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 love. Keep going in, in boys. See what y'all can do. More convoys sunk. Oh, yes, please. Syndicalist in the bar at the economy. Not bad. Um, oh, actually, one there, huh? Go figure. Go to Pierre as well. Even though I know you're fighting over uh, you know, a river, which does kind of suck. So, just in case, let's go and start getting some. Uh, Boys on the line with the Canadians, because I don't like Canadians in this timeline. Canadians have had it too good for too long, so there you go. I'll do Wisconsin next to you. That'll be your backup line, so have your crisis resolved for now. Yeah, they they just want to attack the crap out of us. That's fashion democracy. Fighting for America, the Whit reform plan, and fighting for America. Push against, oh, they're pushing against us. Oh. Huh. Alright. I didn't expect that, but okay. How much RD do we have? Oh, we got quite a bit of... Oh, we have quite a bit of RD. We need... What kind of, Oh, my goodness. Those are actually really nice. Um, that's the case. You guys can hold here and just go here. Make y'all selves even stronger. This looks really bad, but that's okay. If we see more convoys, that'd be great. Why? 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 You know, I'm not going to you know, question this too much, but like... I love it that they're just trying to kill ourselves. Kill themselves on the line. Guns looking good. We're going to need way more RD. We need way more planes. Uh, support equipment. Ooh. Where are you? We did. Oh, ooh. Well, we need a lot of this, too. Trust me. Nice. Uh, you guys just go in. And if they want to escape, oh, let them escape. The Venetian Revolt. Very good. This is. This is. You know, I don't want to say it's too easy yet. But, like, holy crap. This is not that difficult so far. Not that so far. We. In all honesty, we probably do need Canada to intervene. Like. This is a bit extreme. Like, this is... And I know, like, trying to balance this out is, is actually pretty, probably pretty darn difficult, but still. Come on, I know they're doing force defense, but it doesn't matter to me. Keep going, keep going. Oh. Oh, we're almost there, and we got him. 
Charleston is ours. Red Terror, War of Sex, Civil War, even so, more so. Psychological strength by caused by having it repeatedly kill even if the enemy are capitalists has caused some of our soldiers and commanders to become sadistic beyond what some would consider to be acceptable. Although not commonplace, reports of systematic mass executions and torture being reported from both the front lines and core territories suppressed populations suspected of aiding the capitalist factions. Reed has made an executive decision to suppress these reports from the free media. If the revolution were to fall because of a few bad apples, says Reed, then humanity would surely collectively suffer for the centuries longer. It is a final conflict, after all. So from here, just hang out. Don't don't attack. Just defend, defend, defend as you possibly can. Uh, send you two down here too. Oh, the, oh no, the tanks want to move in. Yeah, well, I, I love it. I love it. Mm, not to be able to do something there. But we're gonna wait. We can definitely do something here though. Get them out of Tennessee. W Red witches. Gender equality has long been a major ideological component of socialist thought, and yet we have more evidence that it works. A squadron of female pilots has earned renown throughout the CSA for their daring raids on enemy territory. They coordinate and synchronize attack formations, allowing them to take down larger enemy forces with ease. Decisively named the Red Witches by the reactionary forces under Huey Lung, the squadron led by Florence Pancho Barnes has <clears throat> nicked the new nickname up with a great deal of pride. Death is in the air. Uh, extraction rubber. Uh, let's get some more fuel that way first, and then planes are looking all right. Tactical bombers are not bad. I need to put on the Navy as well. Uh, what do we want here? Suppressors. Do we resistance here in Indiana? That's not good. We don't want resistance there. There we go, too. Uh, train, because he can. Better fighters. Nice. Good, good, good. And then we're going to get some divisions. Only two, mil two militia in Virginia? That's really... Is that really right? That's so few. That's so few. Two in Kentucky. Iowa? Why not? Now, Columbia would be nice, but I think we're going to do this. If we possibly can. Send three divisions that way. You'll be fine. You go down here, too. Because I want to cut that division off. That, getting rid of that infantry division would be really good. If possible, of course. If possible. Send the infantry in. That'd be fine. You honestly should be able to win, even though they are fighting infantry as well. Convoys. Sink them, sink them, sink them. 80, 74. Oh, they did throw another division in there too, which is not ideal. We want a circle, my son. And I'd like to get start working on some sort of land doctrine here, maybe, if possible. <laughs> oh, what else do we have here? Anything? No? Oh, are we over? Oh, oh wow, we're over our division limit, which does suck. Um, that's a case. There you go. Don't make any more of them. Actually, is that four? This will update. Oh, we need to get rid of one more. That's fine. There you go. I don't want to have any more penalties. Let's take the guns. Which means we gotta we gotta win faster then. And we'll just make our division better. Like that's a goal. Actually, if anything. Ooh, going right here would be even better. Hold. Don't worry about it. Go in immediately. I'll oh, take those good infantry divisions. Move in. Oh, that'd be so good. Order Sword Maryland, very nice. Political officers, Smelly Butler is next, but gun in every hand. Yes, please. Former Marine Corps General Smelly Butler stepped up to lead our army as commander in chief. With you wish him luck and are eagerly waiting to his looking to his experience and his ideas in the field of, of, of doctrine and war material. Nice. Um, next. Forest, North Carolina. Let's keep focusing on the New England area. Massachusetts would be good. It'd be very good, actually. I love suppression. 81, come on, boys. Y'all got this? Y'all got this? Actually, we're going to convert a lot of the militia division to continental line, because that's just better overall. So actually, all the militia we're going to convert, since we have so many guns already. Which would be good, 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 good. Come on, Smather Brother. I hate militia divisions with a passion. A burning passion. You know what? You can switch. Come on, you son of a rock sucker. More divisions? Nope. Come on, 97. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Let's go in, boys. <gasps> Land auction. Oh, what do we want to do? I don't even know. What, what's in our focus tree for this? New European schools? Uh, not really too much. Dust settles? So I guess they took out some of the land doctrine stuff here, which is fine. It makes sense to take it out since it's been reworked anyway, so. Um, anything here for land doctrine? Just period. Land doctrine. Hmm. So, no. So, we can choose whatever we want. Um, I usually choose superior firepower. Grand Battle Plan is pretty good. <sighs> Mobile Warfare. We don't really have any tanks. I don't really want to use that one. Mass Assault. It seems like that would be a good one for us to do, but, like, I don't want to do that one, so... 
Either Grand Battle Plan or Superior Firepower. I think Grand Battle Plan would be good. I, I use it so often now. Like, it's, it's in my opinion, really, really good now. <sighs> Disperse Support, Shock and All, Infiltration. I mean, that sounds like a thing that we would do with Red, so let's go Grand Battle Plan. I mean, I can make... That's just kind of an excuse for me to make up stuff, like saying why we should do that one, so... But I don't care. I like Grand Battle Plan. We got Grand Plans. You know, Master Assault might actually fit us better, but whatever. I don't want to do Master Assault. Not this campaign. In general, not really at all, ever. Time to come arrives. Our friends in the Social Republic of Italy have sent us a shipment of infantry equipment to aid us in our struggle. Thanks, guys. We appreciate it. How much infantry equipment do we have? 27... Oh, my gosh. Now, obviously, that's not going to be enough. Oh, my gosh. They just get all butchered and such. Oh. We lost 27,000. This is... This is Wait, they're not considered a major pirate, but these guys are. Whatever. Oh, how many divisions? Can we actually train you? Convert you. Are you sure we need that? Okay. Information Moscow Accord, alright. Well, South Carolina's ours now. There. South Carolina, do that first. There you go. They're still attacking us up here. Oh no, they're still attacking. Yeah, they are still attacking, so. Brazil's helping them out. Alright, whatever. Brazil's gonna die someday too, then. Anything else up here? No. You guys, how y'all doing? Nothing really concerning me too much, so. Alright, so we gotta break over the river here. And they're really weak here ish, but it's, is it mountains? It's, oh, it's just plains. Follow Batavia. Cool. Alright, so they want to do that. We'll actually shift divisions over here, too. Now, it is an infantry division. With overwhelming numbers, we should do okay. I'm tempted next to just push across long. Just a massive push. Now we're... Uh, actually, we have five more, which is not bad. Three more divisions. There you go. That up there. And then, do them in... Nebraska. Damocles Project. Not bad. Come on, we gotta break over that river somewhere somehow. Come on, come on. Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna win down there, hopefully. St. Louis would be a great boon to get. Go on. Airplane carrier, very good. Uh, I can grab that because we can use that immediately. Suppress the resistance. Um, I want to save. We're going to save for Huey Long. We're going to try a general push against him. Just general push in general. A general, general push. There you go. Just in case. Have to win down here sometime. Maybe. Yes. Yes. Red Terror. Oh, we lost 100 manpower, whatever. Oh, will cancel on this. That we need more. Why don't we need heavy tanks? Motorized? No. You don't need it. That template uses heavy tanks. I mean, that template does. So I don't remember making them. Why are we using heavy... What? Why are we using heavy tanks for resistance? What? Whatever. Alright, so. Um... This is probably a really dumb idea. So let's save so we don't lose too many guys. And then we're probably going to try to destroy the American Union State. How many divisions they got? Up to 76. Oh, the BSA might have less. Might have less. Push along this front. Let's try it. No, we're not going to do well against BSA. These guys, we might do well. Let's see, though. Maybe not. Uh oh. Nice! Hey, we sent the carrier. Look at That's not bad. How many more divisions can we have to build? Just one more. Um. Goodbye. Convert y'alls to this one. Granite in hand. Collins holds on. Alright, he's kind of a screamer, isn't he? A little more of that. It's very nice. Go and grab a uh, scout car. Go to this one. Uh-oh. Not getting our rubber? That sucks. Well, thank you. It's almost 38. Get some research speed. Thank you. A lot of red. Not good. 
Order Sword in Albany, that's good. Of course, they are doing force defense for some of these areas too, so deal with the devil. Are you kidding me, bro? Bro. That's stupid. Have plenty of manpower. You guys probably have plenty of manpower as well. A volunteer only. Oh, ooh, that's a lot of attrition though. I like that. I like a lot of attrition from them. Slowly pushing through Georgia though. Other manufacturers. It's fine. Uh, ambusher. You're going to be mostly just recon. Eh. Go infantry. That's fine. Escape, get away. Alright, so now I'll stop this. Now they might want to attack us, and we'll just do more like small little attacks. They're doing force defense, huh? Alright. Well, that was definitely incurred a lot more losses for us than I would have liked, but whatever. 48. Um, Russia, Venezuela would be nice. Iran, Mexico. Uh, I guess Venezuela. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, that's like how that sucks. Alright, well. A little bit more micro win, and then what? Not five divisions, that's that's good. Um push to the Pacific front. I do want to get to uh war economy, partial mobilization, so probably want to save up political power to get up to the oh. I still have quite a fleet down there, though. So, um, other than that, suppress resistance. Maybe get her suppress resistance, get more cores, get more factories, and stuff like that. <sighs> Work on me. Uh... Why is it getting so high? Restore order. Well, I guess we got kind of forced to do that way, so. Um, anywhere else? Uh, Vermont, cool. After the bother thing, the long war. Our earlier optimism may have been misplaced. It seems as though the American Revolution will be lasting much longer than anticipated, and so we must broaden the depth and complexity of our military Canadian program. Canadian intervention looming. Too frightened of the prospect of a sudden close to America sitting on the doorstep. The Canadians to the north, along with the British masters, are currently preparing for an intervention. We cannot prevent it from happening, but some believe it might be possible to delay it. If we were to qu quietly contact and fund Canadian labor movements, get them to rise up in strikes that have obvious syndicalist connections, the Canadians might too be paranoid to take action until the strikes are shut down. They would, at most, buy us a few months if we keep up. Otherwise... We should be prepared to face an invasion from the north soon. So be it. Also, I've done a couple more focuses such as enforced discipline. One of the increasing problems we're suffering is a lack of organization and frequent insubordination in our forces. To this end, we have recreated the military police and intend to crack down on those who disobey our orders. And we did get military police as a support company unlocked. Women's Military Equality Act. As the war continues on, young men or young women join our forces or even ranks or mask themselves as men to serve in the military. By allowing them to serve on the front lines, we shall show our commitment to equality and the progress of women in the new America. Reorganized unit size. Our Red Guard militia forces have done well to take us this far, but their irregular numbers, often simply based on however many willing men can be found in a given town, hamper their ability in the field. By creating a table of standards unit sizes and uniting different units under command of armies, we can enforce better interaction of our units in the field. New European military schools. The Army War College in Pennsylvania was closed at the start of the war for its potential to serve as a hotbed for pro-federal sentiment and reaction. Now, however, we see that there may be some value in making use of its facilities to educate the officers of the new America. Roll out the AO2. Production of the new battle rifle, based on the design by auto ordinance rejected by the bourgeois military, should be sped along in order to ensure that we have the top-class weaponry. Our best workers have already started a discussion on improving the production lines for this new rifle. A motorized force. Motorization is key in the modern armies, while mobile infantry the backbone of an effective force. Or with it. By ensuring that our combat ready motors are up to date, we can keep our edge in the field or double production. The war has come down from the highest authority. If every effort is to be made to produce enough material for the Revolutionary War, nothing is to be wasted. Second Continental Navy. Created at the start of the Second American Revolution, our Navy is mostly comprised of sea ships led by ideological comrades as admirals. In the coming months and years, we must make major decisions on the doctrines and philosophy of our new army or Navy. As it is built from both captured federal ships and brand new ships from our comrades in the dockyards, our Navy will soon be a force to be reckoned with the Red Dragon. Oh, look at this. Ford attack. The 240mm howitzer named the Red Dragon by our troops is the latest in heavy field guns for use by our army. Traditionally, we have been failed, or we have failed to make much use of artillery, but now we should be able to deploy heavy support wherever our troops need to enter battle against fortified positions and create NCO field schools. 
We should create non-commissioned officers field schools to allow our unit leaders to be trained and educated by the older generation. Our best commanders who meet who met enemies of syndicals in the battle shall become their teachers. And the dust settles, we can't do that one yet. Organized pilots. For some time, our aviation forces have consisted of unorganized pilots who seized their planes or got them from manufacturers directly. This has led to a situation where pilots are freely moving between different sections of the front, usually leaving our forces without air support. This practice must be stopped and pilots must be organized into squadrons that attach to the battle areas. But we have the national spirits fighting for America, of course. We have political officers, which is good. We have war maneuvers as well, and Red Guard militias. And here we are at everyone, December 7th. 1938, and I've just capitulated the American Union state, and I got some garrison divisions from Texas. Um, honestly, like, before we last fade and fade out, I've just been consolidating our units more and more and more. I mean, this is, this is a bit nuts. Uh, I wish I could have showed you the American Union state casualties, but here are the casualties against the Pacific states. We, we actually got a really large encirclement in the Dakotas, as you saw earlier, which is really, really nice, but, like, once that encirclement happened, they lost a lot of soldiers. And also, the deal with the devil ended, and then the PSA did go to war with the American Union state, which basically guaranteed the collapse, so... Yeah, um... I don't know, man. I mean, this is... That's why I hate finding the Reds. At this point, like, we, we're ready, pretty much, for Canadian intervention. Like, I, I I don't care at this point. So let's actually do some Continental Navy as well. That'd be kind of nice. Yeah, look at all that Army XP. It's not enough. But infiltration, yes, please. Thank you. But yeah, like... Oh, Red Spanish equipment arrives. Cool, thanks. Did y'all win? Okay, they did win. Um, I was going to, yeah, save political power here, but let's put on here and then put down a lot of resistance, I guess. You know, we might as well. Still trying to do this area here in the northeast, but Spanish Civil War is over. We're surprising. It's not even 1939, and they finished their war? Go figure. Uh, I don't even want them. States are recruiting. There you go. Yeah, Huey Long was really easy to beat. Because I because these guys, I'm sending them back up here. I actually, before he had the massive, like, push down south... I went ahead and just just put them on the line, and then just a, a front-wide attack, and then just focus on, like, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, and they, they fell fast once we started using all these guys, because these divisions are bad. 18 Con, with, with all the support, recon, engineers, and artillery, it was not that difficult. Just, oh, well, there goes those guys. I'm glad we're on the line now, but, like, yeah, at this point, like, it wasn't bad at all. Uh, we can use more divisions here, but, you know what, at this point, I'm going to race to finish off the PSA first. Honestly? Just hold the line. I, that's all I want. I just, I just want you to hold the line. Um, if possible. Maybe I shouldn't delete those divisions. We're going to finish these guys off as fast as possible, though. If we lose a little bit of territory here and there, you know, whatever. Um, in any case, come on around here. Sure. Well, we're at war with the Entente now. Which does kind of suck, but whatever. Ooh. Ooh, actually go trade interdiction because I heard subs are extremely useful, so we'll probably get those... Oh, that's not good. We lost some ships. I guess it makes sense since, uh... Oh, hello. We did, uh, have some guys over here. Let's see. Can we cheat them? Yes. Go home. In my honest opinion, though, I think these guys, uh... They went to war a little bit too late. Throw in a pair. That sucks. Uh, Eastern Seaboard. Are you kidding me, man? That's so stupid. Now they're doing that? I'm still finishing them up here, though. I don't care what happens. Like, we've deleted so many divisions. Just just, just straight up deleted enemies. Uh, do that, too. Why do I have to fight the entire Entente? Man. Just Canada. Why would we fight everyone here? I'm still going to win the Civil War first, though. Separate rebellion? Oh, that's not good. Keep trying to see convoys, though. That'll be nice. I oh, will rush them out to you. That'll be good. Go where you need to go, man. Oh. Go, 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 go. So now they can't help anywhere else, which is good. Oh, yeah, we could get more Texas Visions, Alabama, Compliance. One in Arkansas is not very much. Two in Oklahoma, maybe. Um, how was the resistance around here? Oh, it's pretty bad. Oh, God, it's really bad in some of these areas. Missouri's pretty good, though. Actually, you know what? If anything, we'll do Tennessee, because we're, we're about a court, sort of-ish. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Store order. Oh, we're going to store order New Hampshire? Oh, nice. Very nice. I got plenty of millies, too. Well, look at all this stuff we got. Like, what are we missing here? Support equipment? No, we got 66,000 guns. Holy crap. We need more rubber, of course. Artillery would be nice. Maybe get some more, a few more trains, maybe. More arty, more planes, stuff like that. I mean, that's super helpful. Um, make some more 
refineries? Eh, we don't really need, we need rubber. Not refineries, we just need rubber, which we'll get, we'll get from those people, so. Look, KMT's gone. Yeah, at this point, yeah, they just lost so many divisions in their attacks against us. And, when, and it's like, when they went to war with the American Union State, it was just so good. But commander of the Second Continent, no Navy. After the start of the Civil War, some high-ranking captains and commanders of the U.S. Navy have been chosen to the side of people. Some have even brought with them ships under their command into a revolutionary endeavor. In our time of need, we need to appoint a chief to our Navy, which will lead us to victory against the Federal Forces, which are already dead. One of the best choices is to experience William Fia or Rhea Furlong, a supporter of the old U.S. Naval Doctrine, but we are still not in position to fight an open battle against the Federalist Navy, opposite of him. Hyman Rickover suggests to concentrate our attention against convoys and deep oceans. Finally, the young but promising Arleigh Burke suggests to concentrate our effort on the use of light ships and give to the captains freedom of a high command. Cap ships production cost goes on by 5%. I'd love that so much. Just has a battle. Naval experience every day. That's not bad. Rickover will strangle the Federal supply lines. Ooh, sub-attack and defense. Uh, indirect approach. Yeah, that's not bad. You know what? I, I want a lot of subs. Subs sound like a lot of nice. You know what? A lot of nice, a lot of goodness. A lot of love. Oh, we lost a sub, but whatever. Because we'll just wait till 1940 sub. Yeah, at this point, like... Keep going in, guys. You know what? Force it. Oh, we're going... We're even intervening in Canada this side, which is good, too. So, it's very, very, very good. Can you guys actually win here? How much support equipment do we have? Because that's that's really the, the only thing limiting us, because I'm converting them all to this. So, so what's the support equipment? You know what? I wanted to delete you guys, but whatever. We ain't going to delete y'all. Not yet. Mm. Arkansas? Why not? Yeah. Reds? Still not too easy. Not too difficult to play as. Really just not too difficult at all. That's a lot of losses they've taken. But, oh, they find the bar to economy. That's good. PSA? Half a million losses. Jesus. Bless their soul because God knows I'm not. I'm glad we're not really attacking here too. And we're oh we're attacking here, which is good and all, but like, yeah, they 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 made a massive mistake trying to fight us and us encircling them was so good, just mm, yummy, mm, scrumptious. Actually, since we're here, I think Quark, Texas would be really cool. I want Georgia. Georgia is a really cool state. Sometimes, I know my Discord mod probably want me to say that, but you know, I want to go to Georgia someday. Georgia. The more I talk about it, the more th I get interested in, in it. Maybe someday. Nine days soon, just because I'm extraordinarily busy at the time of this recording, so. We got San Francisco. How are our planes doing, actually? How many extra planes? Uh, you might want to be able to do air superiority, guys. Cass? Pretty useful, I'd say. Ooh. Hey! Convoys, good job, guys. Oh, Sacramento? Ooh. And I love Drill Master. Ooh, Lone Wolf? It's not bad visibility, even, that's even better. But I want just just chucking torpedoes out of there. Just just so many torpedoes just coming out of their booties. Well, they don't come out of the booties, but whatever. You know what I mean. China's killing itself. Even oh my gosh, even more factories. Uh, get a lot of gas. Collapse of the Pacific States. We've won the Civil War. Utah, I love Mormons. All right then. Yeah, that's this is this was not bad. Holy crap! Like my goodness. The Reds are still extraordinarily strong in the American Civil War. And at least for this campaign, I love it. And the other campaigns, oh god no, oh god no. When I play as American Union State, oh god no. Oh no, 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 never. Look, look at all the factories we've made. It's ridiculous. <laughs> look at all that we're making. Oh, I love it so much, but the Korean Uprising. At least for this campaign, but Jesus. Save, save my soul. Um, start researching, get another research slot maybe eventually. Well, we're going to be pushing here. How much manpower do the Canadians have? Because those guys. Canada, you, you've you made a big mistake. You've made a massive mistake. Why do they take so long to intervene? I don't really want to attack here. Because they still have a lot of divisions. But the guys in the east... I guess I should say west, actually. They'll do fine. Fall over... Oh. Motorized force, thank you. Second Constitutional Convention. Revolutionary Navy stuff? Oh, yes, please. Superior, though, U.S. Naval Fleet was not only in our commanders, but also in fleet size. Although we still do not have as many shipyards and factories as the U.S. had for the war, we could focus on specific ships and simplify production. Not a bad idea. All well, Manila? So when is the Civil War going to end? Rebe I don't really want to rebuild them if we're going to fight other groups here, too. So we're so doing South Carolina as well. So... Now what? I mean, look at all that. Oh, Don Caban. Crisis on the Don. A Down. Start murdering all the Canadians you see. Australian Guard Coup. Ah, screw it at this point. Oh, we're out of manpower, too. Well, oh, whatever. 
Oh, you weigh him on my card. Oh, yeah, we'll take that stuff, guys. Thank you. It's fine. Yeah, I actually might be able to push through here, maybe. Yeah, we're good. Order stored in South Cody. Thank you, son. We appreciate it. Order stored. Yes, please. And where else was that one? Main. Oh, Main. Oh, not a court church one, huh? Nice job, guys. Oh, they're doing course defense, huh? Some of the enemy divisions are. We're gonna need a little more manpower, so just lead them. That's fine. Oregon. <gasps> a carrier. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, that's so cool. I'll do that. Do that. Go to the coast. Let him get a moment first. Yeah, overall, not bad. Even more attacks now. Rock Island Arsenal, very good, very, very, very good. I did say I want to work on some more naval stuff, so we're going to go for advanced subs. We're going to get very subby. We're going to get a lot of chubby here. Lots of sub, lots of chub. Beautiful. Ooh, that's not beautiful, though. Oh, did I give you... Oh, my goodness, my bad. I did not give you one. It's fine. Manpower ain't looking so good right now, but whatever. Yeah, we don't get much political power. 0.52 is not very much. Motorized force, though. Your naval plan? That was to create the Continental Air Force. Even before the Second Revolution, it was obvious that the Air Force worked better if they were not tied to the ground command. Although our adversaries still rely on old air tactics and organization, we must move forward and begin organizing independent air forces. Alright, so with you guys, there's not much manpower, but we're going to take it anyways. Thank you all. Oh, we didn't need to do that one. God dang it. Oops, my bad. I wasted political power there. Oh, well. See what y'all can do. I mean, we gotta be draining the enemy of a lot of resources now, right? Yeah, they're out of guns. They have artillery and some motorized. They're out of guns. Oh, you son of a rock sucker. You better not invade me. Oh, Cascadia? Oh, that's fine. Whatever. Oh, maybe not. Whatever. Who's green? Is that Portugal? Man, if we could take Ottawa, that'd be so fun. So good. Um, there we go. More divisions down there, too. That'd be pretty good. You, on the other hand, not too much here. That's fine. You have what? He's an engineer, level 6. That's pretty good. Yes, please. Oh, of course, putting, putting our down resistance kind of sucks here, too. Doing that would be a waste. Texas. I love Texas. We'll see. I don't know. I won't put down a lot of resistance in Texas. A lot of manpower in Texas, hopefully. Oh, you guys. Y'all do that. And y'all be great. Yeah, actually, that's fine. Go and do that. There you go. See what you can do about that. Where you guys at? Oh. There you go. More military factories. Um, support equipment, I guess. Maybe. Do we need more? Yeah, I can do some more. I'll go right there. Toad anti air? I can do that first of all. Anti air is super, 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 super helpful. If we need to delete some divisions in the end, that's fine. Oh, look. Oops. Oh, my finger slipped. Uh oh. Go ahead. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh. Better supply consumption? Oh, so now this is different than some of the other ones. Is it? Maybe not. Better supply consumption? Okay. Revolutionary naval industry? Create the Continental Air Force? Yes, please. Iberian Federation's join? Oh, boy. Not bad. How are we doing over here? Well, we're not doing very much over there. Huh. 939. The fall of Buenos Aires? Alright. Not bad. Very good. We can use a slot a bit more manpower. Chilean equipment arrives? Very good. Thank you. Naval industry out of the revolution. Oh, the outbreak of the Civil War. Uh, most of the shipyards were captured by the enemies of the Revolution. The shipyards that remain in our hands do not allow us to recreate the old U.S. fleet, and we cannot fight against an enemy fleet in our present situation, but there's good f for us. Most of our shipyard workers have experience, and some of them have already proposed plans to simplify ship production and organization of work. This will take resources and experienced workers from other places, but allow us to prepare for a naval war against the federal government. Our captains are divided into two groups. Supporters of the destroyers or subs. First groups are insisting destroyers can fight against most enemy ships and can also support our main ships in battle. The second group says that submarines are more efficient and can work alone at large distances without support of the main forces of the fleet. Meanwhile, our leading engineers have proposed an option between them. Although this option is not as effective as specializing in one of the production lines, it allows us to create a flexible uh, fleet. 
Production costs for these guys are already pretty good. The stores are not small, but oh my god. Minus 25% for that stuff. Holy crap. Awesome Valkyrie gear, ships, whatever. It's fine. No one cares. Nice. Better already. Why not? We've already broken into Canada in a lot of places here. All we really need is Ottawa. That's that's mostly it. Whatever they, I didn't get that one in a boat ever. Cool. Yeah, ships. The subs we have aren't very good. They're gonna get destroyed pretty easily, but whatever. Marching on to Ottawa soon, hopefully. What's next? Militia uh, in Florida? Sure, why not? When can we end the Civil War? I'd like to end the Civil War, maybe. The dust settles. As the resolution comes to a close and victory seems to be in sight, we must not take stock and calculate and evaluate the state of the army comprehensively. I already proposed a flooring about this project or that to enhance our military might. Remove war measures, which would be good to get rid of. Um, Red Guards with Reconstruction Armies. Oh my gosh, mobilization speed. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. Division limit minus 32, huh? Thank y'all. Uh, so doing that stuff over there. Where else can we recruit? Arizona, New Mexico? No. Hmm. Honestly, all of Texas would be good to get under us anyway, so. But uh, going equipment arrives. Thanks, guys. We didn't need it, but thanks. Well, they accept it. Ah, New Mexico. Oh, these convoys were sinking. I love it. Please, please, Ottawa, please. Supplies looking pretty bad around here, though. Oh, whoops, my finger slipped. Find all the way up here. Oh, we do own Alaska. They're helping us out, too. Nice. Beautiful. The first New Mexican. Nice. Maybe we lost some subs. Eh, it's bound to, be, bound to happen eventually. So losses include 51,000 from us. We've got off how many? 174,000 Canadians? Jeez, Louise, man. So, we can't even do a focus now. What the heck, guys? What the heck? Italy's reunited in 1939 as well. Things are moving fast here. Texas and Texas. We built Alaska? Yeah, I guess so. This is a really red world. Hungry, what the heck happened to you? Why are you so big? What, wait, why did you why did you send volunteers and go to war with them? It's not going to be looking good for Germany. With all this red in the world? Oh my goodness. But that's okay. I want Texas. Texas, 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 Texas. Oh, the, the armies from the west have, have linked up already. Oh, that's so good. Shang-Chi clique. Very good, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, please. Oh, they federalized. Well, that's good for them. At least that'll help out Germany. Bounce it out slightly more. Alright, what else do we have here? 1940 stuff. 1940 stuff. Second Melbourne Uprising. That's fine. Oh, they did get some more supply back. It just does suck. Alright then. Well, Ottawa. I, I don't know why they, they went to war so late. And then, I mean, I guess they we did uh, try to delay the intervention. But that was only one time we tried to delay it. Literally just once. And Ottawa will fall. Thank you, son, for playing. Great peace out. I want to go to peace. We've occupied Ottawa, and currently the Canadians are on the run. Perhaps it's time to make come peace, lest we find ourselves dragged down to the expanse of territories. And this? Only give us land concessions. I mean, do we get another one after this? I mean, yeah, we're here to teach him a lesson. No, we'll teach him a lesson. Because that should give us a peace with the rest of the Entente. Once Canada fully dies, like once they capitulate, that should be good. Because wh why would we want to keep them alive at this point? I mean, we we've done so well. There we go. He's fleeing. That's good, good, good. You're going you're gonna to force the attack. You're going to kill that division off. There you go. Now we got him. That's what I wanted to see. Yeah, the other option would have been really a waste of time. Alright, now we should be able to peace out with the Entente at this point. Then the Second American Civil War, or at least have that one done. What could have been the greatest capitalist press of the 20th century is now firmly under control of the working class. Throughout this country, the working class celebrates its liberation from the depredations of the bourgeois masters. Well, there's so much to do, of course. Today, we can celebrate this victory and the savor the Arab American wear for the first time each man is truly equal. Solidarity forever. Oh, God, it's going to really kill us. Oh, it's going to kill us so badly. I'm not touching that. The dust settles, my friends. And then, 
we're going to end up doing... Uh, what else? Second Constitutional Convention. Time has come to take the next step in a revolution or struggle and find a way to unite the workers of America behind a single cause and ideology. Although our delegates come from a wide variety of unions and communes, we hope for consensus on the future of a new socialist government. Yes, it was over a century ago. Philadelphia should be the site of a new Constitutional Convention. What if you enjoyed the video? And the Americans of War. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. We'll hopefully peace out with the Entente or have to go on all the way to Africa. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.